Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Granch Berhatsagai and I am a doctoral researcher at the Department of Materials, Textiles and Chemical Engineering at Ghent University in Belgium. With my colleagues Abraha Bulcha and my great supervisors, Dr. Beni, Dr. Kunde, and Professor Leva van Langenhoff, we have developed a pitted piece of PDMS cottage cotton fabric for an ECG electrode. The demand to produce flexible and lightweight electronics caused a rapid development to the electronics technology and material science, which in turn led to the emergence of smart textiles for healthcare applications. Nowadays, people are demanding to have an active control of their health without compromising their comfort. So coming up with wearable health monitoring, electronic textiles would have an enormous impact, allowing to monitor physiological activities such as the electromyography, electroencephalography, electrocardiography, and so on. Therefore, it is sensible to develop a textile that conducts electricity and owns the characteristics of normal textile materials. That's why we needed to develop a conductive textile for an ECG electrode. ECG or the electroencephalography is one of the most widely held diagnostic techniques that provides useful information on the activity of the heart. The commercial ECG electrodes are mainly developed from silver, silver chloride, which needs a gel to reduce the skin to electrode impedance mismatch. However, the use of the gel could cause skin irritation and ladies rise in impedance due to the drain out of the gel which type. Of this reason, metal-based dry ECG electrodes have been introduced in the form of flat discs and spikes. However, these metal-based dry ECG electrodes have a rigid structure and a heavy weight. In addition, the impedance is even higher than that of the weight electrodes. Thus, both the commercial gel-dependent weight electrodes and the metal-based dry ECG electrodes are not suitable for wearable systems, especially when long-term monitoring is required. Therefore, developing a textile-based ECG electrode would be an ideal substitution as it avoids the use of the gel and causes an inherent flexibility and lightweight. To use a textile as an electrode, it must conduct electricity. This can be achieved by integrating conductive yarns or conductive filament fibers into the fabric structure via embroidering, knitting, weaving, or by applying metal inks, conductive polymers, and their derivatives onto the textile substrate by coating, printing, plating, and other techniques. For instance, Ashley's and Castrolian teams have developed a textile based ECG electrodes by using PEDOC PSS as a conductive track via screen printing. In both these workers, the ECG signals collected by the textile based ECG electrodes were strongly comparable with the standard electrode. However, they didn't reveal any information on the mechanical property of this textile based ECG electrodes as a textile material. For instance, there wasn't any information or clue reported on the increase in weight due to the coating, the coating thickness itself, the bending length, the flexural rigidity, and so on. Therefore, there is no evidence that showed if these textile based ECG electrodes maintained their textile texture. In this work, we presented a different approach of, approach of developing a real textile-based ECG electrodes by using a conductive polymer composite made up of PEDOT PSS and PDMS coated on a knitted cotton fabric via screen printing. These polymers were selected because of the acceptable electrical conductivity and flexibility of the PEDOT PSS and of course, the biocompatibility and extensibility of the PDMS which are quite important factors for the case of textile materials. As a methodology, a 4 to 1 PEDOT PSS PDMS mix was gently agitated until a suitable thick convenient for screen printing has been achieved. Then the paste was applied on a 140 GSM knitted white cotton fabric via flat screen printing. 
and then the fabric was subjected to drying and curing at 70 and 150 degrees centigrade respectively. After that, we looked at some mechanical properties of the conductive fabric like the increase in weight or solid add-on, the coating thickness, the bending length, and then the flexural register also calculated from the GSM of the fabric and the, its bending length. We have also evaluated the morphology, surface morphology of the conductive fabric by using a scanning electron microscope. Then the electrical characteristics, particularly the sheet resistance and resist resistivity of the conductive fabric were measured using a four probe MR1 surface measuring instrument. After that, the conductive fabric was used to construct an ECG electrode having 25 by 45 millimeter square dimensions. Then the signal acquiring performance of this textile based ECG electrode was compared against a standard silver silver chloride electrode. On top of that, the effect of washing, multiple use, bending, and continuous use of this textile based ECG electrode on the signal quality have been studied. To do the ECG measurement, two active electrodes were placed on the left and right wrists and one Mercer reference electrode was placed on the left arm 10 centimeter away of the active electrode. The measurement was conducted for three minutes at a static condition using a PCA durable easy ECG monitor. When we look at the result and the discussion, the increase in weight was only by 0.08 gram per centimeter square, which indicates the fabric was light in weight. In addition, the coating thickness was only 0.13 millimeter. And of course, the bending length has increased by 0.23 centimeter. And it's respective lecturer rigidity that, have, that was calculated from the GSM of the conductive fabric and the bending lengths was almost more than two folds of the original fabric. Apparently, we have studied the effect of PDMS on the bending lengths and flexural rigidity in dips in our previous work that has been already published in sensors in March. From that work, we found that the presence of PDMS lowers the flexural rigidity and the youngest modulus when compared against the same fabric coated with a pristine pedal pieces. From the scanning electron microscope, we noticed that the coated fabric was smoother than the bare fabric and more protruding yarn loops were observed in the bare fabric. In addition, the yarn loops intercities within the coated knitted fabric were covered by the PEDOT PSS PDMS conductive polymer composite. From the four probe MR1 surface measuring instrument, the average surface resistance of the conductive fabric at different five positions was 332.5 ohm per square with around 1.4 standard deviation and around 0.4 marginal error at a 95% confidence level. The average resistivity of the same fabric was about 6.6 .6 ohm centimeter with around 0.3 standard deviation and around 5% marginal error error again at a 95% confidence level. From this, we realized that the conductive textile made the requirements to be used as an ECG electrode. From the ECG measurement, we noticed that the signal qualities of qualities and waveforms collected by the textile based ECG electrode were comparable with the signal qualities and waveforms collected by the standard silver silver chloride electrode. In addition, the main peak amplitudes P, Q, R, S, and T were also strongly comparable with the main uh, uh, peak amplitudes collected by the standard electrode. For example, the QRS collected by the textile based ECG electrode was not significantly different from the QRS collected by the standard electrode, giving a 3.38 F ratio and 0.07 P value at a 95% confidence level based on one way ANAPA. In addition, we have found 
a clear and reliable ECG signal with clear main peak amplitude PQRS and T up to five washing cycles. However, the magnitude of this main peak amplitude PQRS and T have significantly dropped with washing. For instance, the QRS of a one-time washed electrode was significantly different, different from an washed electrode, giving a 4.41 F ratio and less than 0.004 p-value at a 95% confidence level. Furthermore, we have also studied the effect of multiple use on the magnitude of the main peak amplitudes and the signal qualities. We achieved that the signal qualities and the magnitude of the peak amplitudes, P, Q, R, S, and D, T were, were not significantly different, up to 10 multiple uses, providing 0.96 F ratio and 0.33 P volume at a 95% confidence level based on one way or another. Then after we have also looked at the effect of bending cycles on the signal qualities and the magnitude of the peak amplitudes. We noticed that the main peak amplitudes P, Q, R, S, and the T were not significantly different up to 200, 250 bending cycles to five millimeter bending radius providing a 0.81 F ratio and 0.37 P volume at a 95% confidence level. However, it was difficult to notice the presence of P peak amplitude by the naked eye at these 250 bending cycles. And furthermore, we have also looked at the effect of continuities of these textile-based ECG electrodes. And we have found a stable ECG signals up to 120 hours without any significant difference on the PQRS and the T main peak amplitudes. However, after 140 hours, the magnitude of this PQRS and the T were significantly different, giving 78.61 F ratio and less than 0.001 P value at a 95% confidence level based on one way or another. As conclusion, we have developed a textile based ECG electrode strongly comparable with the standard silver silver chloride, chloride electrode. This textile based ECG electrode can be washed in a machine up to five cycles and provides reliable and clear ECG signals and peak main amplitudes up to. 10 multiple uses, 120 hours of continued use, and up to 200 bending cycles to 5 millimeter bending radius. Therefore, this textile based ECG electrode could be potentially used to monitor heart related activities and to detect cardiovascular related diseases. However, the washing fastness could be improved further by incorporating fixing agents like BTCA, acrylic binder, and others. And of course, the stability of the conductive polymer over time needs a further in-depth separate work. These were the references that we have uh, used. Thank you for watching my presentation. Stay safe.